Hey everyone, I'm Jared and welcome to Inform Overload. Today we have to celebrate a very special birthday and no, we're not talking about most amazing top 10s for Becca Felgate. But her birthday was this past weekend so make sure to give her some love and a birthday shout out. But today marks the 10 year anniversary of when the iPhone was first announced. Steve Jobs, CEO of Apple at the time, walked out onto a stage at Macworld convention, a convention where Apple would unveil new products. We're gonna make some history today, he said. And the next thing we knew, the world was introduced to one of the most, if not the most, revolutionary pieces of technology we've seen. When the iPhone was first introduced, Jobs described it as a 3 in 1 device. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. With the original goal in mind of being able to have a computer fit in your pocket, Jobs made sure the iPhone had the capabilities of no other phone. Of course, other phones could play music, other phones could surf the web, pick up emails, take pictures, and so on. But none of them had the capability to do what an iPhone could do and can still do. Before the iPhone, you needed a cell phone and an iPod to listen to music. No phone had room for your hundreds or thousands of songs. The iPhone changed that. People needed to walk around with cameras as well because mobile phones had awful cameras. iPhones changed that too. I guess people could use the internet on their phone, but no one did. Now they do, thanks to the iPhone. And after hearing all the hype about the iPhone, people were definitely intrigued. So much so that they actually camped outside of Apple stores and AT&T, who were the first providers in the US to carry the iPhone for days in hopes of getting their hands on one. And after the initial US launch date on June 29, 2007, Apple realized they hit the jackpot with stores selling out of the phone in less than an hour. Europe got their taste of the iPhone when it was available for purchase in the UK, France, Germany, Portugal, the Republic of Ireland in November of 2007. It was also released in Australia the same month. Not long after the release of the first iPhone, Apple decided to unveil the upgraded version, the iPhone 3G, which was announced on June 9th of 2008. Since then, a new phone or multiple versions, such as the Plus, were released every year thereafter. My first iPhone was the 3G and it was bulky, somewhat like a brick. But at the time, the coolest thing ever. I want to know what your first iPhone was, or if you ever had an iPhone, so let me know in the comments down below. Now I gotta read some comments from a previous video so in the video we did on the palm tree that looks like a demon, Timothy Boyett said, Yay Charlotte, I am so glad you're back. I love you, I love you, I love you. Hi Jared. I'm sure Charlotte's happy that, that you left that message for her. So that was really kind of you. I'm happy she's back too. I missed her. Trillia said, Every picture about aliens, zombies, angels, and all that good shit, the pictures are always blurry. Like WTF. Now like I know it sounds crazy, but like maybe because those things aren't real. Just saying. Not to say I don't believe in aliens. Definitely don't believe in zombies. Angels? Uh, but I get what you're saying. And yeah, usually it is like a a really bad picture or a really blurry video because, you know, maybe it's just people wanted to make money off something so people think that's what it is. Again, in this case, it was a picture of a palm tree that someone said looked like a demon and it blew up. I don't know if you made any money off of it, but we're talking about it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. So as always, I want you to leave me a comment down below with all your thoughts. You can connect with me, Apron7, on Twitter or Instagram. Make sure you subscribe, give us that thumbs up, and we'll see you soon.